Greetings, greetings, greetings. This is Revere Sky. And um, we got a topic today. Okay, this is a pink candle. Pink candle. Oh, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. We got to melt that a little more. Huh? We got a topic today. So before we start, my channel is actually losing subscribers, so I guess all the robots, oh, these smell so good, pure sandal, I might start getting these, mm. smell sharp, very sharp, um, before we start, I'm losing a lot of subscribers, so I'm assuming that they are robots. Somebody was trying to beef up my channel. And then they probably heard me say something like, I don't want these robots on my channel. So, you know what I mean? You just don't know what's going on. So, look at that, that camera. Purple or red. Oh, that's interesting. It's neat. Okay. So, pink candle. It's just newness, renewal, newness, light, energy, but I'm about to bring in the big energy for you, okay? So, I'm going to just burn my sage a second, because we're about to talk about some heavy stuff. That's right, we're about to talk about some heavy stuff. And uh, I can burn my sage on the camera. Get a little smoke. Get a little smoke. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, um, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. So I made sure before I posted this on Google, I made sure I looked up dildos on Google's. And they got some extreme stuff talking about dildos on Google, like, they don't hold back. Okay, so, this is a black phallus candle. This is a penis candle, okay? And most women like red candles, okay? A lot of people are scared of black. Now, when it comes down to white people and magic, White people buy a lot of black candles versus uh, white or any other color. The black candles sell out first. But within the black race, they don't too much deal with black candles. Not too much. Not that heavy that I know of. So this is a black phallus candle. So today we're going to talk about the powers of the black phallus. Okay. I will be burning this candle. Okay, once I cleanse it and uh, oil it and all that. I mean, I bet you think I'm, I'm being a joke right now. I'm not being a joke, okay? The power of the black phallus. You know, it makes me reminisce and think about how they say, Oh, Jesus died on the cross for your sins, but all they do is keep rehashing out the death. Well, I think about the black phallus. I think about the uh, fallen ones, the fallen angels and... Uh, God versus the devil and the uh, the giants and stuff. And I think about, like, women, the way women are built, like, and I look at the men and I be like, damn, that should not add up. That woman physique and the man ain't adding up. Like, I be saying, damn, did the man atrophy? Like, you know how they drying up women uterus, but... Like, are they shrinking me in penis? You know, like, what's going on? You know what I mean? Like, it's weird how it works. And all I could do is think about the ancient Olmecs, the ancient Atlanteans, the ancient Sumerians, the ancient Egyptians. And I'd be thinking about, like, when they had that gold statue, I forget who that was. And they had the man with the big phallus, gold phallus. And I'm thinking to myself, like, something wrong these people done dwarfed to some something wrong it's not like that no more like and then when you do see somebody with some ancient phallus powers or something 
they got too many women and then they head not strong. And then the one that head strong and talk a lot and more uh, mentally there, they ain't got no penis. It's like, yeah, Sky could basically look at you and tell you if you got a penis or not. That's like, uh, I remember this, this guy from Philly. He was tall, but he had something that hung down to his knee. And we didn't, we was gonna do something. We was gonna do something. But he was like a real ancient Atlantean or ancient Sumerian. Like, I've never seen a guy with the condom roll out and it, and it, you complete all the rolls. It'd be flat. You don't have that little roll still on it. And then, like, you still can see the condom. Like, it's long, so you can still see the condom. Like, we didn't do nothing. I was I was young. We, we, we couldn't do nothing. It was too much. But I'm just thinking about now, like, if I could manifest that ancient vibration, that ancient, uh, what they call them, uh, inky people. You know how inky say, I just feel my seed in you. That type of stuff. So I'm like, dang. You know, a lot of people say melanated men are under attack. And basically, they don't know their powers and they are asleep. And not only that, they're becoming atrophy. Their 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 genitals are becoming atrophy, okay? And they're not as strong as they used to. And one day, I have to talk about the topic of women having children as soon as their menstrual start. Because we're in the day and age now where if a a woman don't have children soon as her menstrual start she may not be able to have none when she get 25 that's right we're we're in a day and age where we're dealing with technology like that but i was just thinking about those ancient men i mean suma the omex the uh the atlanteans the ancient uh comedic people it just makes me think about the powers of the phallus. And yes, I'm going to talk about the powers of the womb. I talk about that all the time. But I'm to the point now where I'm like, I'm ready to attract some ancient phallus in my life. And the person I confide in said, well, you want to make sure he not broke. And I said, I said, girl, let me tell you something. If he ancient. And he got that ancient seed and he got that ancient DNA. I don't give a fuck if I get him from under a rock. I'm going to figure out how to goddamn make it happen. Because uh, right about now, if you keep producing degenerate seeds and degenerate people, things are going to just be messed up. For real, you can really tell when people are degenerative and they they are not uh, fully what they used to be, okay? They're not fully endowed like they used to be. Um, and it's nothing wrong with tiny penis or whatever, but it ain't ancient, though. I just can't see ancient uh, gods and ancient angels with tiny phallus. I really can't. I really can't. And it's something about that power. That power. If you use your brain, your penis be small. If you use your penis, or if you're well in doubt, your brain be off. So it's like you have to choose which one are you going to use, your intellect or your penis. Another thing about it is people, men with the the Best penis can't, they got multiple women. They don't have one woman. They 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 got multiple women. And then, you know what I mean? If they, they like being whores and set out like that, let them be set out like that. You know, everybody wants some ancient phallus, okay? And let's talk about the power, so. A lot of ancient not ancient, a lot of modern day melanated people think that the world we live in is normal. 
And because they think it's normal, they continue to become degenerate. They continue to become atrophied when it comes down to their manhood and their manpower. Same as women. I'm going to get on that topic too. But right now we're just focusing on the divine, masculine, ancient side of self. Another thing about it. A woman is only a woman. And I bet you say, Sky, how is that possible? First of all, she doesn't have the Y chromosome. She doesn't have a degenerate chromosome. Second, she only takes on her father's mother. That's right. Her father has a father and her father has a mother. Well, her father, father, her, let's say her dad, right? Her dad's father. She only took on the mother genes from everybody. She never took on any male genes. She only took on the fem female from every parent, whether that's down the line somewhere she took on the female from every parent and it's different from the man okay so just know that whenever you see a female or whenever you see a man that female took on all the women from his family tree just like from the woman's side of the family the mother just taking on from different women but then with the man it becomes different and when that man arrives it's like he's not that authentic mother's man because back in the day the uh, the man was more well in doubt it was more they were more like all of them were well in doubt now it's like either you have a brain or you have a penis you choose because of the chemistry, the chemicals, the food, the air, the water, the pollution. And I'm going to burn this candle. Because I really, really, really want to see more ancient DNA on the planet. And it ain't about being hung. I, I don't have to have nothing hung in my life. But I just, that ancient energy. Really, the ancient energy I want to be around. You know, like they say, the angels that fell from the heavens and created mankind. Yeah, them type. That's what I want to feel. I want to feel that ancient energy. And then, you know, you think about the spiritual side of self and the awakening and you try to meet people. But I'm saying we, we, we still not clicking because it's like, it's like a practice versus a truth. It's like a, it's like a trying to understand versus a actually coming to realization of who you are. You know what I mean? And you know what I mean? If everybody trying to get off the grid, it's going to be a bad problem. Okay. Like I say, some people have to be in the system. Some people have to work outside the system. And people don't realize that yet. I was watching a guy... I was reading his description and it said, I'm looking to reach out with like minds so that we can buy land and get off the grid. No, 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 no. You buy your own land, you get off the grid, and you find like minds then. You don't wait until other people want to buy land with you. Why you just can't buy a plot or an acre or a half an acre? Why do you have to click up with other people to buy land? that that's not good that's not good we should be able to buy land by ourselves and then let other people know like hey come get that land over there beside me and come get that land over there beside me. it's available it's simple like we are waiting for people to show up that's not healthy so in the process i am going to be burning this black candle to reach out to some of the ancient phallus, some of the ancient energy on this planet. And I'm going to do the same thing for the feminine energy. I'm ready to meet some of that ancient, ancient, ancient energy. We're not all gone. We're not all dead. Okay. The ancient ones are definitely here. Okay. Now, there's one thing about it all. Back to the one I confide in. She said, well, you're going to write a petition and make sure you're not broke. Listen, that's the problem. 
the ones with the money, they, it's like, it's like that's why they got the money because they're not well endowed, right? I just want to rehash out some of these ancient genetics around me. It doesn't even have to be like physical or sexual. It's just like having that energy in your presence to help you to weave and reconstruct your DNA. So this is going to be like a portal. And wherever there's high feminine energy, there's always an obelisk in the area. They have one here in Jacksonville. They have an obelisk. It's the, the building down there by the river. And it's a pyramid top building. And I think it's time for me to tap into some of that energy and harness some of that feminine ancient energy as well. And the powers, just imagine if you had a huge phallus. And you was able to use your brain at the same time. Do you know how powerful you would be? To be able to calculate how to survive on this planet without being uh, weeded out. It's very powerful. And I really, and I feel deep down like I see some of the ancient ones, but they're so gone. Like they on drugs and stuff. And they don't want to work a nine to five. They don't want to live a normal life or anything like that. And you just have to realize how powerful you are dealing with that black ether, that cosmic energy. Uh, it's just so much about it. It is so much about it. And I want to attract some of that ancient darkness, that ancient energy that, that supposedly come from the heavens and the inner earth type energy. And I want them to be in the physical, not just not just in another universe or another world. I want to actually attract that ancient DNA into my life. For real. Like, I'm so over the atrophy, degenerate species. I want to attract more ancient people into my life. And, you know, I just feel like the collaboration of energy can actually bring out benefits and traits in a person, help awaken parts of their DNA that was not awakened before. Does that make sense? So, let's see what's going on here. I think I said enough there. Know your powers and know that, know that, no matter the situation, you are always going to be targeted if you are ancient, okay? You know what I mean? You're going to always be weeded out. It's like something about the original people on this planet are being weeded out. And if you glow a certain way, if you vibrate a certain way, you're always gang stalked or weeded at a different rate than other people. If you are 9 to 5 on the clock type person... They don't feel threatened by your phallus or anything like that because you're like this slave in the system and you're too tired to even uh, use the energy the way the energy should be used. That's right. You, um, I don't know. All I can say is protect yourself and try to awaken. This is male or female. Try to awaken your ancient dna and see you know thanksgiving is coming christmas is coming you're going to eat all that food that slows the vessel down and cause it to degenerate more and in the process you just not gonna you know you're not gonna get what you need you're not gonna attract what you need we're degenerating when we actually need to be awakening and finding our tribe and our, the ancient ones and attracting them. But remember, the ancient ones are mostly the homeless, mostly the ones that are on some type of drug. Like, the people that are not strung out and stuff are like mankind. Those are the new ones, the workers. It's hard to find the ancient ones. But they're, they're, they're here. They're definitely here. You just have to 
work on it. And I know it feels weird because I'm a whole, I know that's weird. Yeah, my black feet, whatever. But I really, really, really want to attract ancient energy around me, preferably some that has manifested in the flesh. I do want to upgrade my DNA. I want to upgrade everything about me. And I just need to be around that humble, ancient energy. I'm tired of being around this de degenerate energy uh, that can't get it. I'm not perfect. I'm working on myself. But at the same time, I've identified that you had these ancient phalluses and they're slowly becoming degenerate and atrophy. Okay? And then they stop working at 40 years old, 30 years old, like... People are not protecting themselves. Just imagine, okay? Like, shit, I don't even have children. Like, they, they drying up people's uterus now. And then you have to worry about other people's energy. Not only that, you just have to worry about being under attack any form of fashion. Through magic, through physical, through, through Wi-Fi, everything. You just have to... It's just so much going on. And it's time to conjure up some of that ancient energy, whether it's masculine or feminine or feminine. The energy is there. The, 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 the upgrades and downloads are there. And that's what this is for, okay? To bring in that, which the father is nothing but the mother. But I want her ancient, ancient, ancient stuff to come out. Like, I, I'm, I'm just, I just want to just see the energy around more. You know what I mean? I'm ready to see the ancient energy around and the original energy, that energy that, that they wiped out when the, the planet shift. That energy, it's time to see that energy open back up. So I'm going to leave it there. I want to see, can I flip a few cards real quick? Let's see. Let's see, can I flip a few cards real quick? Uh-oh. Uh -huh. That is crazy. All I did was flip once. So we have love and new beginnings. Uh-oh. We have love in the beginnings. I don't even want to... I, I love myself enough to know that I want to attract ancient... Ancient. I mean, ancient DNA into my life. Also, contemplation just came out. Okay? Contemplation. That... I ain't got nothing to contemplate about. I already said what I want. I want some ancient people around me. I'm ready to feel that vibration of ancient people. Uh-oh. That is scary. Contemplation came out again. Should I deal with the modern technology of mankind? Or should I actually delve in manifesting ancient wisdom and knowledge and upgrades? We'll see. We will see. Let's see. Contemplation came out again. So this is letting me know the mind is ready. The mind has made an initiative to actually tap into that ancient wisdom, knowledge, and power. Let's see what else we got. I'm going to try to do one more. Uh -uh. I'm going to try to do one more. Anything that mm, I don't get a chance to ask. So the sun, very important. That's another thing. We used to be naked. The sun used to be pure and everybody used to be able to evolve and detox their body naturally. Now, have you noticed that the pigment in the, gen in the genital area of the man and the woman is always darker and it never hits sunlight? Just imagine if the phallus could get sun, sunlight. Just imagine if the melanated man could sunbathe and do sun therapy every day. His strength and his intellect, how it would be. It's very important. So, 
to the melanated man out there, if you want to activate some of your ancient DNA, start to sunbathe. Yes, start to sunbathe. Allow your phallus to receive the DNA and the transfers and the data it needs to upgrade your defense mechanism. Okay, now let's see. Let me see what's going on in here with these soul cards. I like these soul cards. Oh, Lord. Uh-oh. We got some shit going on here. I always get this death card. Death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Yeah, beginnings. You see the other cards said that? The other card said new beginnings. Empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Yeah, I'm open to this new age bull crap, but I, I'm, 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 I'm tired of it. I'm too old school. My soul too old for this. Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Okay. All these are mostly dual. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. That's dual. Ending and beginning. I am open to seeing both sides of any situation. That's another talking about it. And balance. So it's, it's basically trying to tell me that there's a benefit to a man degener being degenerate. There's a benefit to a woman being degenerate. I don't understand other than being robots and cyborgs. I, I don't understand. You have to go to a center to get semen and a baby. Like, it doesn't make sense. Let's see the goddesses real quick. Let's see what they have to say. Uh-oh. Already flipped out. Ah. I'm a tatter sue for beauty. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Maybe beauty will attract an ancient one. I ain't scared of the ancient ones. I'm not scared of them. I know they're here. I'm just, I'm, I'm really just tired of living this, around this normal stuff. Ooh. I did not tell y'all. Sheila Nagig is the opening. And what we're dealing with now, the black fellas. Sheila and I get the opening. And Lady of Beasts. Remember I say I always get the Lady of Beasts cards? Dealing with my cycles, me. I do feel like I should be pregnant in the woods somewhere. Like, I shouldn't be in the city. I really do. Also, let's see what else came out. These are flipped over too. Artemis and Minerva. Selfhood. And I get that card a lot too. I I feel like I do just everything is for self. I, I do do things as a collective, but not this modern way. Beliefs, the owl, very interesting. I can say from summing that up is that when you want to meet ancient ones, you're not gonna meet like you're not going to meet. You're not going to meet, like, full-fledged-looking human characteristics, I don't think. I think they come all types of ways. It makes me think about uh, what Bobby Hemmett was saying, that uh, Sophia had a child that she created herself, and it came out weird. So he created his own realm. Let's see. Let's see. Can we get a card out of this deck? These are the energy. Um, we got one. Cornucopia. Abundance. And that's what I feel. Cornucopia. And it's 11. I feel like... Once you activate that ancient DNA, you will see more abundance. And you will realize that certain stuff that we do, you don't need. <laughs> the thinking man. 
Oh my God. Oh my God. Excuse me. Oh my wisdom. Oh my wisdom. Remember I just said at the beginning that you got the man that thinks and he ain't got no penis. And you got the man that don't think and he got all the penis in the world. So basically what they're trying to say is that the well-endowed men that have all the penis in the world, they're the slave race, they're the producers, where the man with the mind and the small penis and, and basically they're trying to say that the ancient ones may not be like that. They just created the slave race like that. But at the same time, the slave race, they are causing them to become degenerate because of population control and they're not they're not as endowed as those as the ancients the ancient slave race okay like our forefathers and foremothers okay so it's funny that this card came out the thinking man and i said you know the thing had already said uh It had already said, you know, try to understand the parts of both worlds. And I'm like, okay, you know, but I just feel like you can get more out of a situation by trying to see how that ancient construct or that ancient body can have the wisdom. It's like you can't have one or the other. Like, that is wicked. But that's like with women, too. Women have big booties and hips and no titties. Also a storm warning. I could take this as the warning of Florida being underwater, which I already know and I'm still here. But I take it as a storm warning as I'm going to get what I want. I'm going to get to see some ancient, ancient shit going on. Yeah, I'm, I'm just tired of this entertainment i'm over entertainment i want some ancient shit going on okay last one let's see can we get one more okay. nothing okay we're good to go any final thing you would like to say before we leave nothing we good to go i think i got it all out the thinking man is going to outpower the ancient genetics of the mankind. Oh, shit. We got one last one. The cup is full. It's time to move on to a new phase. Huh, okay. It is what it is. Ancient ones. Ancient DNA. All that is 